This is a gooey duck dig hole study conducted by Washington Department of Natural Resources at the edge of a commercial harvest tract on Sister Shine Track in Northern Hood Canal. The study was partitioned with ropes so we could return to the same site. The intent of this was for an investigation tool to study the aging of a dig hole. We simulated the digging of a gooey duck. An actual gooey duck was not extracted, and the diver inserted their arm to the limit of their reach, which is a normal gooey duck harvest reach. The holes were dug at spacings approximating the average density of a commercial track. When the hole is dug, the heaviest material piles up immediately around the hole. At the size of the, as the sides of the hole cave in, the finer materials disperse as a cloud. The side walls continue to seek a stable slope as the wall collapses and flattens. The rim of the hole is now past the white plume. This is a real-time exposure of less than one minute to dig the hole. Four minutes later, the hole is done shedding the finest material and done smoking, except where flatfish stir the hole. 9-4-2003 at 13-30. This is the same day one, after, one hour after the dig. The current is still slow at two-tenths of a knot. You can see the size of the hole relative to the diver's hand. The substrate inside the hole is starting to firm up one hour after digging. There is no sediment cloud from slow movement over the substrate. The holes appear as a gentle sloped depression. 9403-1430. Same day, two hours after the initial dig. We are starting with the same hole marked with a white sea whip. The center of the hole is firmed up enough for the diver to pat, and he can still insert his hand by wiggling. Next day, approximately 21 hours after the dig. Currents at 6 tenths of a knot. The digging area looks similar to the surrounding area, and algae has drifted on site. 9803-1117, four days later, slack tide at one half knot. Holes are discernible by a collection of debris and shell in the center of slight depressions. The initial purpose of this dig study was to evaluate recovery time for disturbed sediment of dig holes caused by water nozzles during commercial gooey duck harvesting. This information gave us the approximate age of a dig hole and the time frame of a hole to fill in and substrate to return to its normal state. This study also gave us information on predation, which included types of predators and a timeline of stages of predation of a gooey duck. In summary, we realize this dig study has more value than just investigational purposes. It not only showed how quickly the substrate recovers after a gooey duck harvest, but that very little damage is done and provides nutrients for sea life and by recovering to its original state almost instantaneously.